What's going on there, folks? It is the Earthmaster here on this Saturday night, January 21st, 2023. It's about 11 27 p.m. here, kind of late. I'm also out here with my beautiful co host, Missy Mimi's. How's it going, guys? I know it's been a little while since she's been on here, but I uh, figured she would jump in here as well as we cover a little bit of earthquake activity, continuing to ramp up here around the coast of uh, or inland in California area. A 1.4. Shown up there on the globe. Uh, well, it looks like it just got downgraded as we speak to a 1.3, the latest earthquake on the map. Also, the tremor map here tonight shown continued tremor activity into Northern California, the very extreme southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, continuing to uh, build up some pressure there along the areas upstream. This is a little bit different today, but this kind of shows you the overall uh, regional pressure, including some activity way off here along the Gorda Escarpment. Um, and also some activity, of course, we've seen earlier today on to the northern end of the San Andreas Fault with that 2.6. Now, the most recent activity kicking up here in the Ridgecrest area, a couple small earthquakes in the very small microquake range around the Ridgecrest area. Uh, now, looking up here around the Bay Area, looks like we haven't really seen anything kick up here in the last 24 hours. We were watching that little swarm of activity there last night. That has since kind of died down, but there's still activity throughout the West Coast region, although it looks like it's kind of shifted down into the southern portion of the state for now. Uh, Nevada also shown a broad area of activity. Things fairly mellow across the Intermountain West regions and Oklahoma over here. Seen some activity throughout the afternoon time period. Nothing going on across the eastern portion of the country. Still getting a pretty good swarm, a cluster of swarming out here around the Philippines south into the Maluka Sea region. Uh, this is where that uh, six, what, what was that? That struck out here. Um, let's double check. It was a larger quake, uh, magnitude seven. I knew it was seven. Seven pointer that struck here a couple days ago. Still seeing some aftershock activity in this region. Activity up along the Philippine Trench as well. Uh, movement around the Java Trench attempting to make its way northward. This has been our cutoff point here of westward pressure activity uh, in the past week or so. Still waiting for some larger activity within this region. It's been awfully quiet uh, as um, it's just come to a halt in this area. A little bit of activity it looks like in the Himalayas, 3.8 uh, right there, somewhat into our quiet zone. Uh, but generally speaking, this whole area has been awfully quiet here recently. Uh, some further activity westward. Looks like around the uh, Turkey area and also the Mediterranean region seeing quite a few earthquakes today. Atlantic Ocean has calmed down a little bit. Um, some of these earthquakes here from this morning around the Rick James Ridge, which is uh, right up here. I've seen a little cluster of earthquakes, including a 5.7 uh, earlier this morning that has since kind of died off recently. Uh, and some activity scattered out and about the South Atlantic Ocean. Over here around the South America area, looks like a couple earthquakes uh, continuing into this evening time period. About 23 kilometers deep for a 4.5. Remember, we did see a 6.8 out here, very deep, 610 kilometers deep here a couple days ago. Uh, so we do want to watch the areas upstream where the uh, pressure tends to be the greatest along the Prucelli Trench. Movement around the Puerto Rico Trench here. Um, looks like it's calming down a little bit. We did get our swarming kicking back up here around the southwest edge of Puerto Rico. Uh, but still seen some activity earlier this afternoon, including a 4.1 up around the Puerto Rico trench area. The big island of Hawaii out here. Most of the activity around Pahala. No major changes to take note of. And up into the Alaska area, things roughly about the same as well. A little bit of movement across the Aleutian Trench. Let's see what else we got here. Yellow, Yellowstone, <laughs> Yellowstone National Park here. Uh, not a whole lot going on currently. Uh, whatever this is, looks like this station is over amplified and tuned uh, improperly. I don't know what they're trying to pick up. Maybe some deep activity, I don't know. But uh, these earthquakes really not showing up. Um, well, it kind of looks like maybe it is showing up somewhat on this specific station but just barely noticeable. Uh, and I'm not for sure what that is. Maybe a geyser going off potentially up here um, because it is showing up around the Maston River area and barely on the uh, Purple Mountain Station, but for the most part, no nowhere else around the park. 
Uh, it's a little uncertain as to what that is, but no major earthquake activity in this movement here. Some type of technical um, malfunction. It did show up on quite a few other stations here, but not earthquake activity. Looks like some type of network interference occurring within the Yellowstone seismograph stations. Now, space weather activity here. Uh, it's getting calm. These massive sunspots here are a little bit on the letdown side, so to speak. They had the potential to produce some X flares as they were rotating uh, across the disk here of the sun uh, and facing Earth, and they failed to do so. Um, they barely popped off any flaring while they were directly facing Earth, and it uh, doesn't look like there's too much probability of any strong flares from any of these sunspots currently. That one's huge, but it does not pose a threat um, currently for any major flaring. Looks like 10% chance for an X flare, 55 for an M flare, and the C flare probability at 99%. And um, that's about it. No major auroras forecasted. There's a little bit of unsettled conditions up here around Canada, Alaska area as well. But uh, that is about it. Uh, what else we got here, Missy Mimi's? Um, I'm trying to get you to talk here. <laughs> Still kind of losing my voice a little. A little, yeah, I know. You got me sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got me sick. Um, I was feeling better today, and then a fever came up upon me. Uh, I was taking ibuprofen yesterday, and I forgot to take it today. And all of a sudden, I s just started feeling um, just like drained and weak, and I uh, couldn't figure out what was going on. And then I went to check my temperature, and I had a uh, somewhat of an elevated fever. And uh, so I took some more ibuprofen, and it, it brings it down. Uh, seems to work f uh, pretty well for me, so i got to take one before bed. But uh, hopefully we'll be back here to normal, because um, I do not like uh, being sick at all, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, me neither. So. <laughs> what else we got? National Data Buoy Center. We've seen that earlier, some event mode out here. Um, similar station that happened... Um, no. happened on this same station here like last week yeah i think it was last week and this is not that big of a deal these are meters over here this is just a micro movement that triggered the tsunami or not tsunami but uh, uh while well, it put the uh, buoy in tsunami event mode but there's not even i mean that's just very microscope movement but there's some type of error going on here with this uh data buoy out there putting itself in uh, event mode for absolutely no reason at all. That time of year, maybe it got bumped by a whale. I don't know, <laughs> possibly, but even a whale would move that thing up and down pretty uh, sufficiently. I'm talking like yeah. maybe it, it just barely anything. Yeah. I mean, those are some small amounts, and that's just like maybe a, a feather landed on it, right? and it went into event mode. So uh, nothing else, though, really going on across the area. Uh, as I'm not for sure what's going on with this. There we go. Why is it doing that? Malfunctioning. Yeah. <laughs> the whole site. Definitely <laughs> malfunctioning a little bit. So, Alrighty, guys. Um, so what do we got? Any uh, question and answers going on out there? I know it's been a while since we've said that. Um, anyone got any questions going on out here? We'll bring up the live chat and see what's going on. See who's all in here. Ooh, hey, uh, Timothy. What's going on there, Timothy? Hello, Kathleen. Kathleen, thanks for checking in. Yeah, there's. Uh, we're going to be out. I'm, I'm going to try to be out here at the end of this month. See if I can't capture that uh, comet that's coming in. Getting closer to Earth on the, uh, I think it's the 2nd of February. Going to see if I can't get it. Early morning hours. Um, kind of cool. I'm a big, big time fan of... Uh, stars and planets and comets and asteroids so i can't wait but uh, anyway i think that's about it uh not a whole lot going on out here on this end far as weather goes got some clear skies to about the first week of february drying out from our crazy amount of rain i know we picked up um i think we picked up 15 we picked up 15 up to 15 inches of rain uh, here in the backyard at my house you know, on my weather station within uh most of it fell within the early part of january a little bit there in december but 15 inches of rain that was a lot 
Definitely a lot. We definitely needed it. Yeah, 15 inches of rainfall. I mean, that soaked the ground probably uh, pretty nicely. Deep root uh, watering. Yeah, the ground is so saturated. We had just a slight downpour, and it already pulled. Yeah. Like, and it was like only, what, like a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, everything's pretty soaked, so... We'll dry out for a week or so and then hopefully we'll get some more rain into February and March and we'll see how it goes. Alrighty guys, um, we're going to jump off here and um, just wanted to get a quick late update in. I know it's late, 11.30 at night. We're we're not party, party animals. We're just kind of up and about, but Missy Mimi's is sitting here yawning, so she's going to make me yawn on the microphone. <laughs> Right? You that don't yawn. The, in some... That was the quietest yawn, though. I was, like, trying to hold it in. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So I'm, I'm pretty much ready. We're going to call it. So hope everyone has a good night. Yeah, definitely don't want to be uh, out there in the rain. I don't, I don't mind getting wet, but, uh, yeah, being underneath it all the time would not be good. All right, folks. Um, we'll catch you guys a little bit later back here tomorrow sometime. Take care. Peace out, guys. Good to talk to everybody. I'll catch you guys another time. Peace out.